traders what's up what's up welcome back to another relentless recap guys hit the thumbs up button and of course consider subscribing to the channel if you are a new viewer i got some bad news unfortunately unfortunately i forgot to record earlier today i can't believe it i was on time i was ready i don't know how i forgot to record i i came in here looking for the file to try and get a good archive together and there's nothing i even uploaded yesterday's archive to mmu thinking that that was today's archive so big mistake there unfortunately so we'll have to study marcelo's archives uh tonight and you know be prepared for tomorrow so anyhow so that being said for those of you who are looking to get involved with mmu we are running our biggest discount yet uh be sure to use code manifest on checkout and as you guys know, we are also giving away a free course. You guys can check out the MMU website here for the uh, pamphlets, right? The flyer going over the requirements, of course, being a part of the team here, the Discord, subscribing to our channels and posting, of course, a five minute video on YouTube. All right. Uh, manifesting my future challenge. Hashtag. Uh, oh, hashtag manifesting my future challenge. I think I might have said that a little backwards from anything else. Yes, uh, be sure to check that out, guys. Crazy stuff today. VCIG. This one was the afternoon stock of the day. Uh, really nice stuff starting all the way down here at 360s and going to a high of 2420. Save in Discord absolutely destroyed this stock as he did, I believe, it looks like 30,000 here. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll get a confirmation from him later. But, you know, north of 25K, let's say, in one day. Uh, so shout out to the Discord community, right? And, you know, we're going to talk a little bit more about Discord at the end of this week. Uh, there's something I want to talk about. Guys, remember, free has been key here at Relentless Trading for a long, long time. Discord, there are going to be some changes coming to Discord, all right? So let's talk about this $4,000 green day that we have here today. Uh, we traded stocks TIRX 2600, HOUR 7, LXEH 6, and CJJD 222. Uh, two, and then we have some losing trades, YGMZ, which, uh, you know, is a little disappointing. SECO, we should have been green if we've been paying attention earlier. Marcelo called this one out very early. We could have got the break of 150 at the half dollar, but we were a little late. So yeah, TIRX, HOUR, LXEH were the, were the main three. Uh, the others are not so, you know, in, in terms of the size, but are red or green, not that significant. So yeah, let's take a look here. We'll start off with LXEH. LXEH, really crazy move here, pre-market. And, and those of you who trade pre-market, you know, more than likely you guys already had a really nice day before the open even started with LXEH. This thing came up nicely lows all the way you know around 63 cents guys this thing went from about 67 63 cents in that range curls up slowly breaks over one gets up to 139 pulls back and it does this u-shape red to green sometimes we'll see the cup and handle right we got the cup maybe a little flag right here and then a breakout and nope it just went straight up straight up it took off here around 917 and just kept going and I traded the resumptions. I traded the resumptions. It got halted up at 215. It opens up. It dips slightly as it curls. I'm in. It rips up. I'm selling. Nice trades. Uh, and I, I hesitated somewhere here. Got back in. Sold into So about two trades in here. Not bad. It opens up higher. It, it's a little bit riskier. I'm in. I get a small trade in here as it went up. But then it came right back down and fell hard. So short sellers definitely came in, you know, and, and, and took over. So moving on to, uh, what was the other one? Uh, let's see here. H-O-U-R. There we go. H-O-U-R, another nice stock in pre-market. Gave an excellent move. And let's get our five minute in frame here. Yeah, so this one, you know, going and started in after hours, really. So yesterday, this thing was at 141. Today in pre-market, it starts off nicely. Lows of 250. It pushes all the way to 478. Pulls back. It holds its levels and here we kind of get the you know cup a small handle right here and then it breaks out and it goes all the way to 577 if you're trading pre-market and you capture this area here you are doing well on the morning i mean this was great right 
pulls back, goes sideways, and so into the open is where I then come as it curls up here for this, you know, a bit of a V-shaped recovery, V-shaped red to green. That's where I get involved, scalping these green candles, getting in and out, and capturing uh, some nice action. So H-O-U-R, really nice to see this type of momentum here. Uh, and, and you know, it was it was pretty smooth for the most part. After it started to pull back, we avoided losing trades on this red candle, and we continued going. So that was pretty good. And then lastly, for the stock of the day, man, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe I completely forgot about the recording, man. It's still... Mm, 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 mm. So TIRX, uh, you know, we... TIRX and, and you know I'm what what's crazy is that today and yesterday the price action were you know almost identical. It's just a matter of you know not going deep in the red early, being a little bit more confident to take the entries, being quick about it, getting in, building a cushion, adding to it. And there's even a point today where we made about a dollar a share and we'd size down to a thousand shares. So you know if we were at our two thousand or twenty five hundred share block, we could have added another one K to you know, 1500 on the day, all right? So crazy stuff, but you know, this thing is just gonna go, go and go, all right? So pre-market, we're a little sideways. Uh, we had a high point around 487, the pre-market highs were 560. So, you know, watching for that bit of an A, B, C, D coming into the open, right? We got lows into the open at 356, it starts to curl. I think I came around this area. Well, let's put on the show trace to check. I think I came around this area here. Oh, no, 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 I was a little earlier. Okay, I was a little early. So three bar play, so 943 is where I'm going to come. Why are the neighbors out there shouting, man? Come on. Do I have to call the cops on somebody here today? Relentless trader needs peace and quiet. If anybody's out there making noise at, at uh, 930, it's going to be a problem. But, okay, I'll cut them some slack since it's, th it's 4 p.m. after the close. Uh, Yeah, so we got 470, and then we got a nice three bar play. It rips up to 506 and this is what we talk about you know a hot market when the market is slow and cold a three bar play might go from 470 to 480 and then flush back down but in this market we go from 470 all the way to 506 that that one entry alone if you get that 30 cents that alone could be a great day that alone could be a nice nice trade no matter the share size you're using if you're someone who your average size is 50 shares or 500 or 5,000 it's like that one trade alone can be a solid trade, right? One and done. And not only that, it goes from 506 all the way to 559 and then pulls back and pulls back into the low uh, or let, let's say the previous high that we had that was at 481 before the three bar play. So it holds nicely, curls up and look at this green candle here, man. So if, let's say you weren't confident to take the low at 480 you can take the high of this area here. So what's that? You know, 513, break of 513, looking for the one minute candle to make the new high, just goes to the moon. If you're in right here, it goes all the way to 88. From 513 to 588. Pulls right back down and then surges right back up. Crazy. And, and this is where we have to be careful. We don't want to get caught in here to give back all the profits. If we can avoid this red candle, we can let it base out, and then it's like the same trade again. you either taking the low or the breakout trade. High, 37 this time, over 37. Where do we go? Look at this, over 37. Boom, 632 a dollar a share. Pulls back on the resumption. Opens up, uh, one-minute candle makes the new high at 32. 98, 41, and then we got a high of 88 before it got to the backside. I gave back profits in this range uh you know watching for the curl back up right here and right here what happened i didn't trust this blue line this daily level where we were holding to buy the low of these candlesticks and ended up losing trying to catch scalp trades and you know hopefully i i did i was long i was long right here but it was not that difficult to understand this type of flush or to avoid it right so this is a great entry by the way I finally buy 65 and I said it, this is after the live stream. I'm still in discord audio trading with, with some of the, the students. And I said, man, I sold this trade too soon because I bought right before volume started ripping in at the lows, which means I could have, you know, scaled out and held. And 
selling over the whole dollar would have been good. And we did break over the whole dollar to 716. But when it, it got to 716, it came down to maybe 710 by 680 on the bid. The spreads went like this out of nowhere. And I'm like, nah, is this, is this going to into the depths? T Titanic. And it's like, Titanic, Titanic. I'm not going to touch it unless it gets back above the high of that level of 716. And so said, boom, flushes down like crazy. And then to the bottom of the seven C's, this is where the short sellers get to make their money. Some of them might have gotten blazed going up here. Uh, at this point, I don't know why they would short so early because, you know, I don't know what it means. So everybody's different. Everybody's seeing things differently, the different strategies, of course, so it makes sense. But this is where the short sellers really make their money because if they're short here, and, you know, we're seeing a bit of an ABCD, right? We are. And, you know, this is where we can get a squeeze all the way to like $15 or $20. If this ABCD does hold and this breaks out through the highs and we don't double top right here, this is where we can go all the way to the moon. This can then, you know, before you know it, the stock is, 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 is really, really going. But, okay, this is where the short sellers make their money because they're short into this area versus high of day right here, right here. And then boom, right now they're still short. I would still be short. What's the odds that this curls back up tomorrow? Not likely. And well, maybe I wouldn't still be short. I mean, this is quite the drop. I'd probably be out before the, the, the close. I'm surprised there wasn't a quick surge here into the close. But yeah, that's it for the recap. I, you know, again, I can't believe I did not have the recording. I literally came into my files thinking it was there. I even uploaded yesterday's videos, you know, thinking that that was today's video to the MMU. But we will study Marcelo's archive. All right, guys, stay safe, stay green. It's been Relentless Trader, and I am, of course, signing out.